Okay, good afternoon everyone. And let us begin our presentation with a prayer. Mga kahans in inclusion members at sa ating lahat, ating pong nasalin ang bago. Bagong versyon ng Orasyo Imperial. Mga kahans in inclusion members at sa ating lahat, ating pong nasalin ang bagong versyon ng Orasyo Imperata bilang pamproteksyon sa coronavirus disease pandemic. Mahabagin at mapagmahal na ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hinihin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. Tunghayan mo kami ng may pagmamahal at ipadya kami ng inyong mapaghilom na kamay mula sa takot sa kamatayan at karamdaman. Itaguyod mo kami sa pag-asa at patatagin sa pananampalataya. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang natasan na tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga bakunang na isulong sa patnubay na iyong mga kamay. Pagpalain mo ang aming mga pagsisikap at mawakasan ng mga bakuna ang pandemya sa aming bayan. Patnubayan mo ang mga lumingiap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malakipan ng husay at malasakit. Pagkalooban mo sila ng kalusugan sa isip at katawan, katatagan sa kanilang panindinigang maglingkod at ipasanggalang sa karamdaman. Itinaas namin ang mga nagdurusa, makatamtamnawan nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Tingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila paggamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkuloawan mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Pukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan, sa pagdamay at malasakit namin sa bawat isa. Walampasanawa namin ang krisis na ito at gumango sa kabanalan at pagbabalik loob sa iyo. Hinihing namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo na nabubuhay at naghahari kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo. Iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Tumudulong kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming mga kahilingan sa aming pangangailangan at ipadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan, manuwalhati at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Mahal na Birhen, magpapagaling sa may sakit, ipanalangin mo kami. San Jose, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Kalungsod, ipanalangin mo kami. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask 
for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Pilipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger and unforgiveness comes from Satan and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II. Rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. The, the wounds inflicted upon him into COVID-19. This is... This is a new thing.
All right, once again. Again, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all viewers of our live report na nangan. It is difficult nga na nagpapulit na yung Sabado ang One Inclusion Live Weekend. After two weeks, two Saturdays of busy schedules, mga kapatid. So, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to our viewers in the world. I am your host from today, Roy Landmark Lang, and welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend, mga kapatid. So, yeah, napanood nyo na na tayo. So, anong pakirandam na yun? Ngayon, medyo lumamig na tayo. No? Medyo lumamig na ang panahon. At yung aking tubig ay nandyan na, dyan na sa likuran ko. Okay, magbasa tayo ng verse muna. So, Rather clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. According to Romans chapter 13 verse 14. Okay? Grabe. Na yun, lumamig lang. Lumamig na yun, mga kapatid. Kanina sobrang init. Mas mainit pa sa sikat ng ating araw. Oh, mas mainit pa sa niluluto. Anyway, magbabalik po tayo. Makalipas ang ilang mga paalala. At ating magdidiscuss tayo na nga ng panibagong yugto ng ating tatapik. Thank you. 
Okay, everyone, and we're back again once on our topic for the day. So, this is the topic for today for the What Inclusion Live weekend. It is called the Inclusion and Diversity Series, the OTM and Workplaces. So, yan. Yeah, baka kapatid, may I ask everybody. Bakit kailangan natin ngayon ng inclusion? Ah, ano ba yung inclusion, inclusion na yan? Okay, yan kasi it is a battle cry na yun. Battle cry of, of the advocates. One of the battle cry na yun is the inclusion. Ha? So, eto. Advocacy groups are helping promote the rights of persons with autism and their families, but their benefits continue to expand as non-profit organizations are now pushing for career placements for them. According to the Republic Act, number 10,524, Section 5, or Equal Opportunity for Employment, or the Act Expanding the Positions Reserved for Persons with Disability states that no person with disability shall be denied access to opportunities for suitable employment. Sa madali salita, wala dapat PWD ang tatanggihan sa bawat kumpanya. So, ito ang ating kinahaharap na yun. Po, di ba? So, autism spectrum disorder can be accompanied by intellectual impairment. But about 60% of people with autism have average or above average. Diba? Diba magka... Ito. Ito na guys. ASD can be a com... Anid. Diba sabi ko nga? Ah. 
Ito yung, ito yung mga sinasabi ko. Yung repetitive patterns of behavior, interest or activities, difficulties. in social behavior, di ba? Ayan. The benefits of neurodiversity broadly defined as the diversity of thinking styles and abilities is arguably especially important for innovative and decision making. Research show that There are can be business benefits to hiring employees with autism. People on the spectrum often demonstrate trustworthiness, strong memories, reliability, adherence to the rules, and attention to the detail. They are often good in coding. Yan. Yung mga programming. So, inclusive training. Employed employees on the spectrum also providing training to their support skills and training for the organization to create an inclusive culture. For the managers and co-workers, awareness training can help understand to their colleagues and how to support them. So, yun. Magkakaro yun na nga, kagaya na sinabi ko, magkaroon ng trade training. Diba, mga kapatid? And the supervisors especially should receive training on effective communication strategies. Yun na nga, kagaya na sinabi ko, strategies na ano, magkaroon tayo ng strategies. Like ano, like yun na nga, kagaya ng interpersonal skills. So, yung mga na nagtatrabaho na merong autism, dapat maturuan. Maturuan yan. Behavioral training din, kailangan ng rewards and modally. Especially na merong employee with ASD. So mga kapatid, kailangan talaga natin mag -ano. Kailangan natin talaga magtulong-tulong At the same time, kailangan din natin nagkakaano. So, eto. Focus on can. Ito yung mga five ways to embrace autism in the workplace. So, number one, focus on can, not can. So, hiring someone in on the autistic set. Spectrum. Kailangan lahat na makaano. And then number two, consider essential functions. The essential functions of each job. Yan. The candidate who are considering for that role, makonsider sana. Number three, be open to real reasonable accommodations. So can this comport to the managers? to automatically assume that this term 
that requires them to turn their business inside out to adapt unemployment needs. And then number four and five, mag medyo magkaano tayo. Promote kindness and make compliance a priority. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng respeto at ang isa, tulungan tayo. O, bigyan ko kayo ng halibawa. Si Autism Society Philippines. Bidoo nila yung Autism OK Philippines. At sila rin yung pioneer ng for the hiring of Autism. Then one of the pioneers. Ito yung tinatawag nating Autism Works. Ama? Bukod pa dito, meron pa. Ito si Project Inclusion Network. Ito na nga yung mga placement at training sa PWD including sa mga may ASD. Okay? So, yun na nga mga kapatid. So, mga kapatid, Tatawag, mag-commercial muna tayo, sandali, at mag tayo. Okay? Mag-commercial muna tayo, mga kapatid, at mag tayo, mag... Bigyan ko kayo ng konting mga paalala, ha? Aba, wala na nanonood. Commercial muna tayo.
Okay, and every way, every way, mga kapatid, magbabalik po tayo tayo sa What Inclusion Live Weekend. So, agay, eto. H&R is selling its merchandise, mga kapatid. So, ang available colors and sizes natin ay white, black, yellow, red, and blue. So, ang pinaka, ang extra small is 400 pesos. Small is 410 pesos. Medium is 420 pesos. Large is 430. XL is 440. XXL is 450. And XXXL is 460. So aside from merchandise, berong din kami tote bag, mga kapatid. Yan. Tingnan nyo na lang ang presuhan for small to large. 200 to 260. And then, ito na. H&I stickers, mga kapatid. We include RES, 200. 50 pesos and inibig ko ang mga Pinoy PWDs by 150 pesos. So we are accepting some more of payment and donation via GCash and Paymaya. Meron din tayong Palawan and Cebuana Luwilier at itinedeliver namin via Tok Tok, Lalamove, Gogo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy and LBC. So next week is our ano, webinar. 
Ito yung Enemeros, aware for mental health. Speaker, si Mr. Richard Balang, si Mrs. Rachel Aquino, and Mr. Raul Ganya. Mapapanood to ng live alas dos ng hapon sa Hatsin Inclusion, Pilipinas. And then, yung Include Pilipinas, Hivik Inclusion, ano? Ito yung Hibig Inclusion 2021. Ito yung Hibig Inclusion 2021, June 12, 7 p.m. So, hindi pa alam kung ipapalabas sa Hansin Inclusion or magpapers 100 or ibubut. Ibubut. So, yun. Pag-uusapan pa namin. Okay, yan. And then, ito, aside yan, meron pa tayong, meron pa tayong isa pang webinar. Ito yung leadership during crisis. From 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Yan. Maganda yan. Tackling mental health with COVID-19. Madaming masira. So, my nation yan. Yung, ano. So, anyway, mga kaibigan, follow us na rin sa ating mga social media sites natin. Maraming salamat sa mga nakinig at God bless po sa ating lahat. At pala, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation, HNI, God first. Have a blessed afternoon sa ating lahat.